Hi guys and welcome to another Hero of the Week. Now it isn't often that someone from the BBC is regarded as a hero when it comes to interviewing politicians. Jeremy Paxman's style has been replaced with such softball questions you would imagine they were written in Whitehall. Well, from time to time a journalist will break from tradition and truly grill an MP or at least not let their crap go unopposed. Our hero this week is Victoria Derbyshire, who turned up the heat on Miriam Cates, a Tory MP. Enjoy. Anne Sheffield and her name is Miriam Cates. Good morning to you, Miss Cates. Good morning, Victoria. Why are you betraying the North? We're not betraying the North. I think if you tell people that they're being betrayed and they're being left behind and that promises are being broken and they're not getting what they're expected, then it's not surprising uh, when they read those headlines and are, are fed that narrative that they're upset. But it's I not, just totally I'm going to pause just... you there because it's not a narrative. It's not, not a narrative. It is, being... Sorry, it is a fact that the Prime Minister has promised certain things in terms of the rail infrastructure for the North of England, and it is a fact that he's now scrapping them. Well, let, let's look at the facts. So, firstly, uh, the announcement hasn't been made yet, so we don't know the detail. I don't know any more than you. I've obviously read the papers. But what we do know, what the Prime Minister has said, is that this is the biggest transport investment programme in a century. OK, but I thought we didn't know the details. How can you say, how can you comment on it if you don't know what's contained within it? Well, because Boris Johnson made a promise that he's broken and Boris Johnson added another promise that, how can you trust him? Obviously, she has to trust him because she's um, an MP for the Conservative Party. That no town or, or village or city will be left behind. But we know that certain towns and cities are going to be left behind and that it will involve levelling up faster than previous plans. So levelling up, which means absolutely nothing. My constituents who can't get to where they want to get now, it's important now. And I think, uh, as I said, we don't know the detail, but what's important is that we have deliverability and we have better transport, we have faster transport, and we get that in the best way. With respect, so wouldn't voters say actually what's important is a Prime Minister keeping his promises? Well, our promise is to level up. No, and no, the, that, pro the promise was, no, excuse me, let's be accurate here. The promise was to build a high-speed rail line between Nottingham and Leeds. That's now not happening. The promise was, and I can give you the Prime Minister's own words if you like, the promise was to build a fast train line from Leeds to Bradford to Manchester. Do you think that HS2, Eastern Leg, is the best option for my constituents? It doesn't matter what I think. I'm... <laughs> She's a journalist, you idiot. <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't have her hands on the levers of power. She's not an elected representative. You are. You're a member of the Conservative Party, the party that's in power. She is not she is a journalist. Her job is to ask you questions, to hold you to account. Your job is not to hold her to account. Your job is to answer the questions. Ha Who the hell votes for these people? Obviously, she got in on the get Brexit done train, and I hope she'd be going out of, out on that same train. Although I shouldn't use the train analogy because there probably won't even be a train. Talking about your prime minister's promises, which he seems to keep on breaking. Well, I, as I said, I, I don't accept that because what we want... Sorry, to sorry, is sorry I, I'm just going to give you his exact words, if I may. This is the Prime Minister. I want to be the Prime Minister who does, with Northern Powerhouse Rail, that's the fast line from Leeds to Manchester, what we did for Crossrail in London. And today I'm going to deliver on that commitment to that vision with a pledge to fund the Leeds to Manchester route. He's about to go back on that fast line between Leeds to Manchester. <laughs> well done. Finally, we have a journalist who is holding politicians to account. Uh, Victoria done a wonder, wonderful job here. Boris Johnson has lied. People have, have to understand that Boris Johnson has lied. Boris Johnson is a compulsive, pathological liar. And, you know, his MPs will be rolled out onto the, onto the media, onto TV, to defend these lies. To suggest that, no, 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 he, he didn't promise that, or that he meant something else, or we've changed what the promise actually was to levelling up. He promised X, and he has now decided he's not going to deliver X. And no matter how well you try to paper over the cracks, or try to paint it in, a, in another light, or present it in another light, I should say, um, it doesn't change the fact that those people are not getting what they were promised. 
And it's something tangible. It's not where we're going to level up the North it, because that was just rhetoric. But people were promised physical things, tangible things, a rail line, and that rail line is not arriving. So you can't try to avoid the fact and suggest that, well, this is all about leveling up. And Boris Johnson didn't make that promise. He made a promise about leveling up instead. No, no, he made a very clear promise there and he's not delivering on it. And he promised those people back in 2019, vote for me and I will deliver this. Well, they voted for him and he didn't deliver it. So the consequence should be not to vote for him again, not to vote for this person either. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. And I want to say thanks again to Victoria for being our Hero of the Week.